Our paper is entitled Application of a Ridden Horse Pain Ethogram to Horses Competing at Five Star Three Day Events Comparison with Performance. I would like to acknowledge my co author Andrea Ellis from UNEQI. The Ridden Horse Pain Ethogram comprising 24 behaviours, each with strict definitions, was developed to facilitate the recognition of musculoskeletal pain. Previous work has shown that the display of eight or more of the 24 behaviours is likely to reflect the presence of discomfort. Our question was, would a high ridden horse pain ethogram score during warm up for the dressage phase of a five star three day event have an association with subsequent performance. We performed a pilot study involving day two of dressage at Burley 2018 and demonstrated that horses which scored seven or more of the 24 behaviors of the ridden horse pain ethogram were significantly more likely to be eliminated or retired during the cross country phase than horses which scored less than seven. We therefore felt that we should extend the study to incorporate all starters at badminton and burley five star three day events in 2019. There were 137 starters. For the non-lame horses, ridden horse pain ethogram scores ranged from 0 to 9 out of 24, with a median of 3. Whereas those horses which demonstrated gait abnormalities in either trot or canter had a median ridden horse eth pain ethogram score of 5, with a range of one to nine. Horses with a ridden horse pain ethogram score of seven or more had higher dressage penalty scores, were more likely to be eliminated or retired on the cross country phase and had lower finish places than horses which scored less than seven. We cannot prove a causal relationship with these results and the ridden horse pain ethogram score. There are other factors which may be influential, which include rider skill, rider or horse errors, and other reasons which are discussed more fully in the main paper. We believe that the ridden horse pain ethogram should facilitate earlier identification of horses which may benefit from diagnosis and treatment, resulting in improvement in both performance and equine welfare. To learn more about the gait abnormalities observed during the dressage warm-up, and why we selected a cut-off value of seven rather than eight, read the full paper. <laughs>